Okay, I'm not sure that this fully requires a video, but just in case uh, somebody doesn't know how to unclog their glue, this is specifically our glitter glue, um, I would like to show you how I do it. So let me get you in position. Okay, so I am going to work on my biggest one. Please forgive my fingernails. I did not uh, paint them or take off the paint for you. So this has been generally the problem with my glue. I let it get to that and solidify. And while there's wet glue inside, I'm trying not to pour out the opening also has a ton of glue in there. So I'm going to take like scrap pieces of paper and try and scrape out that hard glue. I know this focus is kind of annoying, sorry. So I first scrape out as much hard glue as I can. That should be plenty for the inside itself. And then also for the inside of the lid, kind of try and do the same thing. Um, I know I'm not showing you a whole lot here, but the camera angle is kind of hard as well. I'm also going to use tweezers in here to kind of just dig around and dig it out. The idea before we use warm soapy water, now I've got glue on my tweezers, just keep a paper towel and get it off. And then your tweezers are fine. Um, so I'm gonna dig some more of this out and then I'm gonna show you just kind of rinsing it in the sink. So before I rinse this out, another thing I was doing was taking the pin, there's a pin there, that goes in to the fine tip, but sticking it in backwards. So pushing it through all the way down. Don't worry about losing it because you've got tweezers, especially these reverse tweezers are gonna help a lot. And pushing the pin down as far as I can. You should be able to see the pin head down there. Now watch yourself on the other end. The goal is to get the pin out the top. I'm going to show you this. This is where the top ends. The rest is pin. So I've shoved the pin out the top, kind of clean off the top, just try not to uh, hurt yourself. Now I have a dish mat right in front of me here, this blue line. I'm just going to push the pin back through. I'm not going to use my finger, obviously. It's the pointy end of a pin. So now my pin is back in. There's a cat hair. Okay, the pin is back in. Now I should be able to fish, use the head of the pin to fish it out with my tweezers, which I did. Get stuck, stuck to the tweezers. We can clean the pin up in a little bit. So basically I just wanna clear, clear the hole all the way through. So now I'm just gonna run it through hot water. And the idea is to get the hot water to come out the tip. That's what we want that flow. So running continuous hot water kind of helps melt the glue a little bit as well. Then you can pick at it more with your tweezers. Just keep doing that. I'm not going to show you this whole process. Keep doing that in the hot water. Maybe even run some soap through until you get a flow of water going through. See how it's kind of dripping out the tip like a needle? Then when that is clean, we'll come back. Okay, so now I've gotten a flow, but there's still enough glue. I know this is kind of dark because it's a tunnel, but enough glue at the tip, like right at where it would come out, that 
is stuck there that I'm annoyed. So I'm just kind of taking the pin and reaching it as far as I can without hurting myself, getting a little bit of glue on the tip and then wiping it off on a paper towel. So I'm just kind of dip in and bring back out as much as you can. But now it's pretty, pretty good. And we've got a flow through the nozzle. So then just kind of dry it out a little bit with a paper towel as much as you can. I might be wasting several paper towels here, but just dry out what you can, ball it up, shove it in there, twist it around. By all means, don't put your mouth on the end of this cap, but blow through <laughs> to kind of dry out and blow out the hole. Then you can go ahead and put the cap back on. If you have any dried glue around the edges, I'm not worried about my nails right now because I got to take off my nail polish anyway. Get any of the, you can tell it's dried because it is clear and this stuff dries clear. So hence dried glue off the edges, just so your cap goes back on a little smoother. Okay. Now recap it. Put your pin in, clean pin, without stabbing yourself, preferably. Okay, now we're going to talk about how to use it and then what to do before you store it. Okay, so I don't have an actual uh, anything to glue, but that's fine. I'm just going to use one of these as an example. So, if you want to have some sort of tissue, I'm officially out of tissues. So when you go to use your glue, take the pin out. Set it somewhere safe. Your glue should be open and unclogged. Shake it down. Squeeze out perfect wet glue. When you're done, and you can use it for a while, just before you put it away, tap it. These are the tips that Stampin' with Aloha gave me. I'm going to link her down below. I'll link her Instagram and her YouTube if she makes videos. I don't know if she makes videos. Tap it down so the glue isn't up in the lid anymore, okay? Then you want to squeeze. That's just where the glue is. Squeeze so there's airflow. And if there's any glue in this section, just squeeze it out onto a tissue. And then basically make sure there's airflow before you put your clean pin back in and then obviously store it upright. Now we have two clean ones and now I have to go do the other four. So hopefully that helped you. Again, I got all the tips from Stampin' with Aloha. I'm going to link her down below. It was really helpful. I just needed to do it and have patience. Um, having to sit down and like clean your craft supplies is never fun. But uh, if you have this problem, I'm hoping that this helps. Um, really any glue with a fine tip point, I think this would be helpful for. I just happened to have bought a bunch of these because I liked it. Um, but you do have to continue to use them properly. You can't put them away clogged or without getting airflow and putting your pin in or else you're going to, uh, have to clean it out all over again. So there's that. Hopefully that helped. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time.